What is up gamers? It's your Average Joe with Average Joe Raids. Today we're going to take a look at the fusion, the fragment fusion schedule for Walking Tomb Drang, the legendary HP champion. He's an HP burner. Um, and let's take a look at this fragment schedule. Uh, we'll kind of strategize where you can double up and maybe triple up on using your resources to get these fragments. So first off, we're looking down here at the bottom screen here, and we're no, we're used to this number. So 115 of fragments can be obtained from tournaments and events. You've got 40 from the tournament leaderboards. So that number right there is what we are used to, 115. What that usually means here is we have a champion chase tournament up here with 15 fragments. And we have a summon rush event down here with 20 fragments. And so you could skip champion chase and go all in on summon rush, but that means you would have to get every single other uh, fragment out here or win some of your tournaments, which I personally do not like to bank on. So what I find is pretty helpful is to go in on some champion chase a little bit um, and save sacreds and voids for summon rush and try to get a little bit of both um, But I know a lot of people have different opinions of this some people will ignore champion chase completely and save everything for summon rush what I don't like about that is it puts you in a box if you if you are right on the line let's say in past uh, fragments 4200 was that number for you to get uh, both of sets of fragments in the summon rush. Usually this will be five and 15. If you only have 4,200 and then they end up upping it to 4,800, that's either a whole sacred and then a little bit more or quite a few void shards. So um, it really puts you in a box if you try to bank only on going on summon rush. So those are the two summoning events. It's usually the biggest hurdle for people. Um, I know my friend is starting out in, and has my old alt account. Um, the summoning is going to be what makes or breaks this fragment uh, event for him. So taking a look here, we got Dragon at the beginning. That is overlapping with a Dungeon Divers down here. And so we take a look here uh, somewhere halfway through Saturday, Saturday morning probably, and into Sunday morning. So you got about a day of overlap here where dungeon divers overlaps with dragon and then also uh if you're able to do this it also overlaps with champ training if you have uh some solo a solo dragon farmer where you can farm food as well um you can triple up on saturday for those resources um also during that time period we have the champion chase going Let's say Champion Chase is the green. And then Summon Rush down here will be the next weekend. Obviously, those don't really overlap with anything that you can double up on resources. Those are pretty much shards. For Champion Chase, you can be getting um, those fragments from the Bazaar. You could be doing permanent fusions. You could be saving old fusions, uh, fragment summons to be able to summon now. So, um... It is what it is. If you haven't prepped for it now, you're probably just going to have to use shards. We've also got the classic arena tournament. We'll put that in some pink. And then we have another classic arena a little bit down the road. That will be next weekend. So the weekend events here that we've got are uh, that are, that seem to be repeating. Champion Chase and Summon Rush, which are all around summoning and getting new champions. And then you've got the classic arena uh, tournaments that are both also on weekends. So uh, at the beginning, like we said, we got Dragon, we've got Champ Training, we've got Dungeon Divers. So whether you're doing um, Dragon and Champ Training together, or if you do dra Dragon and Dungeon Divers, and then finish off uh, with Champ Training and Dungeon Divers. Um, on the previous fusion for Hellicath, Dungeon Divers ended up being the really difficult thing to do. Um, it looks like Dungeon Divers will probably be easier here, and the Champ Training is most likely going to be 
the most difficult in terms of energy resource. So make sure that you're not getting behind on this champ training. Start some now and then maybe save some for when the dungeon divers comes and you can overlap both dragon and champ training with dungeon divers, whether that's a dragon solo champion or doing dragon separately, finishing that off and then moving to 12-3 brutal for your champ training. So next up we got the artifact enhancements. We'll put that in yellow. And that is going to start Sunday. So you can be using your silver that you're getting from your champ training if you're running 12-3 Brutal. Do the artifact enhancement. We also have another artifact enhancement that's going to be next weekend overlapping with the Summon Rush. And that is before the Spider Tournament. So, But you do have a champ training tournament up here. So we look here, we've got another champ training that starts midway through the week. It goes uh, all the way through Sunday, but if you can be getting a lot of silver up by the weekend, like right here, then that's going to be able to give you silver to spend on this artifact enhancement down here. And champ training, if you're in 12-3 Brutal for this one that starts on July 13th, it's also going to get you uh, dungeon divers points for this dungeon divers right here. And so... Then, so now we've got covered the Dragon Tournament, Champion Chase, Classic Arenas, the Champ Trainings, the Dungeon Divers, both Dungeon Divers we got, the, the first two, the Artifact Enhancements, the Summon Rush. Now all we have left is the Ice Golem Tournament, which is always kind of a drag. Um, it's going to be at the beginning of this coming week. You're pretty much just going to have to, you know, you can overlap Ice Golem here with dungeon divers for a little bit. If you're finishing up your dungeon divers, Ice Golem pretty much sucks. You're not gonna use a lot of the a lot of the gear from there. So it is gonna be a little bit of silver that you're gonna get to be able to use in your uh, your artifact enhancement. So that's the plus. But and then you've got the Fire Knight that's also gonna overlap with this dungeon divers right here. Um, and that will be during the end of Friday into Saturday, some of Sunday. Um, that's pretty much up through next weekend, the start of next week, which would be right here. At that point, all you've got left is the spider tourney and the last dungeon divers right here. And obviously they're gonna overlap pretty nicely. So um, that's where you can go for fragments there. Now, um, usually, Winning Fragment tournaments, I think that Ice Golem is probably going to be the easiest to win because nobody wants to farm more Ice Golem than they have to, you know? So that's one opportunity. Another opportunity could be Classic Arena, depending on the tournament grouping that you get put in. Um, but I do not rely on winning tournaments to be able to get Fragments. Make sure that you're planning out getting these Fragments. And with 115 available, basically what it does, it requires you to do the summon rush. Either way, if you completely skip champion chase, then you're going to have to get all 20 from the summon rush. And let's say, let's see here, we've got maybe some orange. So if you completely skip champ chase, you're going to have to do all 20 of the summon rush. And if you, uh, if you get all 15 of the champ chase, that means, and you get all fragments everywhere else, you can only be short 15 because we've got the 55 here from tournaments, and we've got the 60 from events, and that is 115. And so you can only skip 15 and still have 100. So that means if you're doing the champ chase and you're doing all of the other stuff, you still have to get five from this summon rush. And usually that's split up in five and then 15 later on in the rewards. So either way, you have to do a summon rush and you need to be worrying about um, summoning champions in terms of champion chase and summon rush. That's gonna be the limiting factors for you guys. So hopefully this chicken scratch and uh, this crazy mess um, was helpful to you and you can line up some of your resources so they're overlapping and that way you're being wise about spending your resources 
and you guys can get Walking Tomb Drang and get some AoE HP burn in your teams. Hopefully this helps you guys, a lot of you guys start clearing Spider, get up to Spider 20 and get those really good accessories. So good luck on this Fragment event, guys. Stay average, friends. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.